Once you've arrived on the OAS website, click on the register button to begin your application. You will begin by inputting your email address, followed by creating a password for your account. Now click Create Account to advance to the next steps. An email will then be sent to the email address you provided to register your account. Once you've opened the email, please click on the hyperlink to proceed with your application. In this section, you will provide some of your basic details, including selecting your country of citizenship, country of residence, full name and date of birth, some brief information, first about your high school, city and country, and your graduation year. You will do the same thing directly below for any colleges or universities you may have also attended. If you have not attended any colleges or universities, leave this blank. Enter your current address and contact information. If your mailing address is the same as your permanent address, which you've shared, click the check mark to skip this section. Provide the necessary information for your emergency contact. This could be a parent, grandparent, sibling, or someone you can rely on in the case of an emergency. This should not be your agent. Once you've accurately filled out each of the sections, click save and go to the next step to proceed. In this section, you will first state whether or not you are applying through an agent. Next, select whether or not you have applied to George Brown College before. Also, state whether or not you are a student transferring from another Canadian school. If English is not the official language of your country, you will need to select a method for providing your proof of English proficiency. In this example, we will select the first option, TOEFL, IELTS, or PTEA scores, by checking the box next to it. After you've checked the box, you will have to select which method you wish to use and submit your corresponding scores below, along with the date you were tested and the TRF number you were given. Another popular option for proof of English proficiency is to attend our English for Academic Purposes program, or EAP. Simply state whether you're applying only to the EAP program or also to another post-secondary program as well. Include the length and start date you anticipate and then click save and go to the next step. On this page, you will be using the drop-down menus to select courses you wish to apply for. The first drop-down menu is for your top preferred course, while the second drop-down menu below is for your second choice. Your second option will be considered only if your preferred course is full or unavailable. Once you've completed this step, click save and go to the next step. In this section, you will upload all of the documents necessary for your application. Click the Upload File button for the documents you need to upload. Also, write in the name for the description of the file. To finish uploading the file, simply click Upload File. If no files have been uploaded, you will receive an error message. Make sure your files are uploaded correctly, then click Save and go to the next step. Your passport page will have to be uploaded with your application and cannot be uploaded at a later time like the other documents. This section will handle the payment of your application fee. Select your preferred method of payment. If you select credit card, simply proceed and fill out the information fields that appear. Once you have completed the data fields, you can click Process Transaction. If you selected Bank Wire Transfer, print this form and take it to your bank to complete payment. You will have to return to this step after and upload the receipt your bank provides you with. If you were given a promo code for your application, select it and input your code. If your code is incorrect, a message will appear when you click Validate. In this section, you will review your application and by clicking the Agree checkbox, you will be ready to submit your application. Your application has now been submitted and you can return to this page to see its status. 
If you attempt to reopen your application, you will be warned that doing so will set your application back in the queue. 